hello everyone hope you are doing very well so in this video we are going to discuss about azure cloud and if you are looking for opportunity in azure cloud so what are the skills which is required you to start your journey in cloud or if you are already in cloud and you are looking for your growth then what is what skills are required to improve your knowledge plus improve and i mean focus on your growth so probably see uh, there is uh, so many factors which may be uh, other persons are misleading you but i'm telling you the right truth about uh, cloud and how it is working and what skills are it's demanding so probably when we are talking about the cloud solution it is totally opposite of on premises if you had work in on premises you may have knowledge about how uh, you are managing your network how you are managing your servers how you are managing your users traffic and everything you are managing and how your backup solution is working how your monitoring solution is working that is totally it's it's totally combination combination in the azure cloud where you have to understand all the artifacts about the technology in the terms of virtual machines in the terms of virtual virtual machine scale sets in the terms of pass services where you get all the dvs all the like uh, web apps and a uh, few other services like with the uh, underlying hardware plus underlying uh, services totally managed by the microsoft so here what i am trying to say is that if you want to grow in the cloud if you want to join cloud there is few factors which you have to learn and you should have knowledge about it the first servers how you are managing your on premises servers and how you can gonna manage your servers in the cloud the next is network how you manage or what are the understanding of network you are having and how you have to manage your network in azure cloud there is multiple services which you have to learn how it is working and you should understand how network is working because without basic there is nothing in cloud next there is more services which is pass and saas services you have to learn these services and you have to learn the mechanism how it is working and how it monitoring is happening how backup is happening there is totally combination in the cloud and you must be aware about some uh, like uh, coding tool for example if you know uh, terraform if you know windows powershell so powershell may help you very much in the cloud because if you have something i mean if you have some knowledge on the uh, any of language which may help you to understand the other language to help you to do the automation in the cloud because it is required to do the work with a minimum time and it is totally required to have some accuracy because when you start working in the cloud you have to be very conscious about everything all the vms all, all the complete infrastructure and few works you have to do with the powershell commands and powershell script or you can use terraform to do do you a work but terraform is a, a bit totally uh, i mean higher one but you should have some knowledge on powershell right if you have these knowledge if you have this kind of knowledge or if you are willing to learn these things then only you will be success in cloud environment otherwise you only stuck what you are i mean where you are if you are not started your career in the cloud then you will be stuck there if you have started your career in the cloud and you don't know about next things you will be stuck and there is few things let me just quickly point out here the first one is vms the second is network the third is backup solution the fourth is storage and next is pass services you can say in that so many services like logic apps web apps functions and aks now trending it's azure kubernetes uh, kubernetes services 
and in the SaaS there is a few like Active Directory and uh, email security, uh, email solution that is Office 365 and other more features like if I'm talking about in any of there is so many services which is available from the cloud perspective. So you guys have to learn all these and you have you should have the guts to face and understand the basic and everything is working on a basic there is nothing advancement in that there is nothing such thing you should learn separately if you learn from the starting where you have experience or you have knowledge of the basic th basic thing you can solve many many problems in the cloud so probably if you are coming to the cloud you should uh, you should ensure that you have an operating system knowledge you should have an, a network knowledge you should have uh, infrastructure knowledge and use infrastructure knowledge is talking about how you are going to manage your infrastructure you should have backup understanding you should have basic security understanding you should have active directory you should have azure active directory you should have azure domain services so all these services you should understand and you should be able to troubleshoot the issues and then only you can grow in the cloud so thank you so much for watching this video have a good day bye bye and if you have any question please comment or you can reach out me on instagram so i can help you to understand better in this better in the cloud form thank you